off to Wonderland. Here we go. All right. Welcome, everybody. This is our final, final, final of 2023. And then we have news for you. So we're going to start with a little bit of celebration. Um, as some of you saw, and if we missed a name, please forgive us. There's like 130 names on this list. And God knows we might not have eyes big enough to see it all. But we did have when we had our holodazzle campaign, um, we did have two from our group that were enrolled in our campaign celebration drawings, um, Ellie and Katana. We want to just say congrats and thank you. Um, and again, that was a specific window of time, but bravo, bravo, bravo. So um, our whole name of this game is sponsoring. And so again, we were super happy, super happy to have those participate in the contest. So thank you all so very much. We also want to just do a reminder again, we know we're also out there building sales. We know we're also out there finding new prospects and new clients and all those fun things. But for this core group, our mission is to grow you a team. And so we're just doing a quick reminder. The decanter kit is going away. It's <laughs> over. It's gone. Come New Year's Eve at midnight. So um, just in case you've dropped some little seeds over the holiday season about the holiday kit, just an FYI to follow up with those that you've invited to say it's our last chance. Um, again, at 2023 prices, the, the kit that we have there, of course, uh, really saving them $240. Um, if you look at that investment, as well as the Let It Snow Pack um, is out this week and the ending of our year end sale. So just wanted to remind you, this is our focus for the next uh, five days as we wrap up 2023. So we're going to do something today and then we'll come back to the very end on what we're going to do next year a little different. So today what we're going to focus on as a group, and we're just going to network this out and talk it out. So that's why if you are here live, please have your camera on, please have your mic on because we're going to brainstorm this out. Okay. So if you want to take a screenshot of it, have at it, um, because what we're really talking about is really, as we look at 2024, we want to really look at big goals, right? More in 24, we just keep saying it again and again. So I hope during the next five days before we open the new year on a new day, January 1st, you pause and really write down your why. What is the purpose to being in this business? What is the purpose to working harder, earning more, what do you want the more for is really what the mantra is always going to be. So making that vision board, making that dream board, whether it's a trip to Disneyland with the kids or grandkids, whether it is getting a car, what is it you go to work for? Mm -hmm. Just like a job, J-O-B, your job, your own business, also has to have goals and wishes and wants because there's a purpose to your time. Then you work backwards to mapping your time to do the IPAs, income producing activities as your priority. All right. So as we do this today and we really get ready and take a real snyop view of 2024, we're going to talk about what our intention was this quarter and even last quarter to grow a team, to continuously sponsor new people. Today, we're going to play just some thoughts, and the thoughts are really kind of the whole story. You always go, all the questions, think of everything. Who, what, when, why, how, all of those things, those key questions, just like we had as children, always asking. That's the key thing we always want to have in a strategy. So if I do want to grow more to my mm -hmm. team in 2024, and including the next five days of 23, then we want to come back to... We know our why. Why do I want to even work at this? What does being a leader mean to me? What is growing commissions, bonuses, opportunities, and trips really mean to me? And what does it really mean to me from my heart to help people? So one at the very tippy top there is what is my why? Then we always make strategies not about, oh, I hope they say yes to me. We hope they say yes to them themselves. So we want to really dig into what could be their why. Why would they even look at this, right? And that why is a solution. 
what solutions do we offer to people? And it's really a story. Um, so we're going to come up with 24, just because it's 2024. We're going to come up with 24 solutions that this business could bring to someone in, again, a new opportunity. The second thing we're going to do is come up with 24 locations or 24 different types of people that that serves. And so maybe we have the solution and we say, who is that for? So then we have this solution. Who is that for? So we're going to go to the whys and the who. Then we're going to brainstorm to get 24 locations. Where are they? We know what we might bring them as a solution. We know who they are, but where do I find them? Online, in person, where do I begin? And then we have to make a strategy. And the strategy for 2024 starts today. You still have five days to wake up January 1st as a future manager earning 8%, as a manager earning 11%. You decide what to do in the five 24-hour periods you have in front of you, okay? So your now is, what can I do in these final five days of the year? And then what will you do different in the next year? And then when will you do it? You can't just say, oh, I'm going to do this without putting it in, the, in your calendar. That's like saying, telling your boss you're going to come in, but you never turn on the time clock, right? You're not going to get paid. So the key is, when will you do it? Blocking your power segments of time or power hours, however much time you have, to go do what you can do. And then what do I have to do now to get ready? So if I know when I'm going to work, what do I have to do before I go get it done? And then I just got to do it. So maybe you need an accountability partner to say, okay, I set my hours, hold me accountable, check in after these hours so I can let you know what happened to my outreach or to my strategy. Okay, so because bottom line, Jackie and I have had one goal. Some of you have been here three months. Some of you have been here six months. We started this team, with one purpose. And that, and some of you, maybe even nine months, was to help you join our Jaffa Leader team. There's so much more coaching and training and enjoyment in the community of leadership. So we want you with us, whether it's January 1st or sometime Q1 of 2024. So let's come back and let's play, okay? So we're gonna take some notes because we'll put our follow-up thoughts together so you can keep your thought board and your vision board. But we're gonna start with first, what would be 24 solutions? What could this business do for someone? So let me give you a thought starter, okay? So this business, could help a new mom not go back to work. This could be her way to not put her paychecks into daycare, but she could put her paychecks into her family and stay home and be mama. I could almost do four solutions out of that, right? So I could help a new mom stay home. I could help a new mom not pay her, put her paycheck into daycare. I could help her be the best mama she's always dreamt of, right? And I could give her a business with flexible hours so that her children come first. So I literally could have four or five solutions just thinking about my who, which is new moms, right? Or someone who's maybe not a new mom, but she just birthed her next kid, right? She's a renewed mom. So we always want to start with, but what do, what do I bring to them? So we're going to, I'm just going to write a few down and then we're going to think of another I'm taking group. notes. You guys oh, just I love jam. It. I'm taking notes, girl. Thank you. All right. So Jack, Jackie's writing the solution. We're also going to put in um, the who, right? So let's bounce off this in the first three questions. Let's, let's stick to one before we go to more. Mm -hmm. So Jackie, so if we are looking at all these solutions and we just said, who are they? They are a new mom. They are a renewed mom. We just had another child, right? Mm -hmm. So with that being said, so we know the, the why, we know the who, but now we got to find out where are they? Ooh, so let's I, do a yeah. practice, right? So where do I find them? So where would we find 
new moms, renewed moms, where would we go to reach that audience? Who has some ideas? Hi, Maxine. Good to see you. Thank you for turning your camera on and joining us. So where um, would we go? I would say um, my community, my subdivision. There's a lot of moms that um, stay at home. Mm -hmm. And I know they stay at home because they walk their kids to the um, mm -hmm. bus stop. Mm. daily so and my subdivision have a lot of um military moms <laughs> yep so i would say my community in your community wow that's a, that's a really this is kind of cool she branched into even almost a new who of military right mm -hmm. okay this she said quite a few my community or subdivision mm -hmm. bus stops even though she said mine you could go stand up bus stops in neighborhoods or even go to the bus stops at schools where kids are waiting for mom to pick them up. So you really had three right there, Maxine. Where I live, right? Bus stops near me, like my neighborhood bus stops. And mm -hmm. then you could go to schools you don't know anybody. Rosa Silva, I will tell you, I can tell you this, it triggered my brain. Rosa Silva, who was our fastest growing district director um, right before COVID, she literally did that. She made flyers that were appealing to moms. And she she doesn't have little kids that she's picking up at elementary school or anything or daycare. Oh. I just added another. But she literally would go and she knew all the moms were sitting in their car. And she walked up with Jaffra gift bags and went car to car to car to car and said, I am just here treating moms to a little Jaffra love. You deserve this. Try it. We've got the greatest business in town for moms. And she just went up and gave these out. And she sponsored always with the strategy. So she did spamming. Let me tell you, she built her bag. She used to call it fishing. She went fishing in different markets every week. But she was target specific to moms with children. So again, schools, bus stops, neighborhood bus stops, um, subdivision, and I slipped one in, daycares. Daycare, indoor play places, because it's gross outside, trampoline parks, um, any of those like places where kids' birthday parties are, um, like any of that stuff. Those are rife with mothers who need some self-care. Excellent. So I'm going to twist this on a new who. How about women who run a home daycare? You know what? Their clients are moms and babies and toddlers. They could set up a display. And every time that kid gets picked up and dropped off by mama bear, it's Jaffra. Hmm? So even daycare providers, yep. kind of a cool twist to that. Okay, trampoline parks, love it. So you got daycare um, facilities and you even have daycare, like the personal ones in their home, the home daycares, right? Yep. Okay, what where else? Montessori schools. Excellent. Montessori schools are a great one. Excellent. Montessori schools, any preschools, right? Okay, excellent. What else? Because a lot of the preschool moms are probably popping out another one. <laughs> right so they We're tend very to busy. have their kids right so okay the area parks what was that hon parks 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 yeah. excellent for our because, west um, they're they still in parks the, um, we like the trampoline the playground the for it in playground. the park mm -hmm. so and like then McDonald's that playground McDonald's when I, wasn't, when I wasn't working I would go there and meet a lot of moms and dads. You know, they bring their children there. So that would be a good, a very good one, especially when the weather gets better. Yep. Excellent. Excellent. Parks, McDonald's Playland. Okay, what else? Gosh, there's so many. Uh, this is a huge list for just that one group of one. folks. This Great. is my favorite because this one was super easy for me. It the was dental office. Oh, good. Well, babies don't have teeth, but their mamas are bringing the kids. They bring right? them earlier, you know, to but check them in. 
Speaking of doctors, you could do a doctor's office, podiatrist office, or pediatrician, excuse me, right? Pediatrician, right? right? Love that. You also can do, this one I loved all the time. I always did the um, mommy and me or baby classes. Always. I actually was a, a guest speaker and I taught them how to do the baby massage with our baby, baby massage, tender moments, yeah. right? So um, any baby classes that are going on in your community, community education provides that or the hospitals under the um, maternity ward, you can just go check um, what they have. What about kids boutiques? Could you partner with a kids boutique? Ooh, baby stores, baby boutiques, for sure. Babies are us type approach, right? Mm -hmm. Excellent. What about okay. laundry mats? Laundromat's sure. great. Excellent. And where they give um, like children's parties? Yeah. They used to be in Chicago, they had like a purple cow and they would um, advertise in the... Um, in the neighborhood newspaper for parties for little kids. Excellent. You know, purple cow, you know, the ice cream with the, mm -hmm. <laughs> the great ice cream, no, the great oh. pop with the ice cream, you know, purple cow. Oh. And Love other places pie. they give them. So maybe, maybe you can connect with a baker who does, um, you know, like the party cakes and so forth. Oh, that's Bakery. true. This is great. That's a great little jam, <laughs> right? So oh, I got another one. One. Yeah, this go ahead. This is my favorite. I loved the welcome wagon. Ah. Does that mm. still exist? It still exists. I just looked it up for somebody I was coaching. Um, they, I mean, they do welcome packets for every new mom at the hospital. They still do. They do new members who move to town. They do, um, for sure, they're really big into... Um, the welcome centers. So love that. Okay. So how funny is this? Just a few solutions led us into four different types of people that led us, and we could probably build that list, that led us into, oh my gosh. I have 19 places. I'm oh, 22. did we do the did we do the nail salon where they had the mommy and me going to get a mani mani pedi? Oh. Nail salon. Awesome. Um, yeah, that's great. Yeah, any maternity clothing store, catch them before they birth. <laughs> right. Oh, I love moms so much. We're everywhere. They're not that challenging. They're as simple as a bride to me. I don't know. They just are because their needs are super clear and connective. So I spoiled you on the next one. <laughs> I just wrote it down. <laughs> yeah, I thought you might. So, okay. So do we want to branch to weddings? Gosh, let's do it. Okay. So. We went from Where do babies, you find them? Then we went to weddings. Okay. Bridal, so what's the bridal, excuse me, bridal shops. Before we go where we're going to go, what what is our solution? What could this business do for a bride? Extra money. For? To pay for her, to help pay for her wedding. Yeah. So, want to so think of it as a one line or a tagline okay so want to have the best surprise honeymoon ever women love to do some surprises right or can't find a dress in the budget we can help you say yes to that dress am i making sense that tugged my little heartstrings a little bit. I know. Like, you know, you want the $3,000 dress, but your checkbook says 300 and you're like, but you can choose to say yes to the dress. Ask me how. So this is what solutions are. Instead of going, and, and we all do it. Oh, you can earn extra money. Great. That doesn't relate to me 
where I'm at. Am I making sense? Mm -hmm. A new mom needs to earn extra money, but the solution that doesn't warm her heart, right? right? It's what does the money solve? So we kind of want to really twist this to again, say yes to the real dress, (laughs) right? Let's help you figure out how. So, okay, then we talked about maybe best honeymoon ever comes with secret income surprises, right? Or secret earning opportunities for you to surprise Mm -hmm. the new man, right? Okay, what else would earning money solve in a fun way for a wedding, for a bride? Mm I feel like um, you could upgrade your flowers or you can upgrade some piece of your wedding or you can offer to pay for stuff that your parents are paying for, take some pressure off of your family who's helping you. Ooh, love that. I think the most expensive is these new all the kids, my kids' age are going through this. The new cost of everybody in your wedding. Like they are going to destination locations, right? For the bridal party. We didn't it, do that back in my day. Me neither. Missed all that. <laughs> Probably good. I'd still be paying for it 40 years later. But literally the average is about 1500 to two grand to be in a wedding. Pay for those expensive um, bridal party trips or bridal party expenses. Well, and here's the reason I'm saying it from a bridal perspective Mm -hmm. is literally because I just saw um, my best friend's son literally was in, he and her just got married in November and they had eight weddings they were in off and on together throughout the year. You guys, so I was asking them all this money stuff. And it literally averaged 1500 to two grand per wedding they were in. Sometimes both of them. It was so crazy, you guys. It was ridiculous. But the bride, then I got to see her be the bride. And she tried to do it as cheap as she could, but she still did a destination. So she was like, I wish I could afford to like pay for something for my bridal party. Like, how do I help them not have to feel like they're spending so much money, right? Like less Mm -hmm. stress for your bridal party, right? So again, might relate to some, you can easily watch this on Facebook and watch people's comments. See, those Mm -hmm. are the little one-liners that I'm like, so I saw you were just in your fourth wedding, right? And you're getting married yourself. Imagine being able to treat your bridesmaids to more than you expected, right? It's kind of that secret surprise again. Okay, cool. Anything else? Where would we find them, I guess, is our next move. Let's go to where. So, Connie, you were saying? Bridal shops. Excellent. A lead box at a bridal shop should never go away. I think I was in five of them all the time. Wow. What about the, the, uh, the courthouse? When you go get your license. (laughs) Yeah, how do you, I don't know, I didn't do that one. Yeah, I don't know how you do that. (laughs) I don't either. It's a shotgun wedding and Ronnie is here to help. So literally, there's guns at the doorway. I'm not sure. (laughs) But it's not a bad idea. It's late, you guys. Jack and Peppy after dark. Um, In DC, I'm sure you can do it. Probably not, Ronnie, no. Of all places, right? Okay, love it. What else? Where else? What about working with a wedding planner? Mm -hmm. For sure, wedding planner. Giving them a packet, for sure. And they start now, the minute you book a venue. So you could go, there's another one. Go to all the the local wedding venues. Then meet again with that. um, Sometimes they have more than one. Some are independent contractors. Some go with your rental of your venue. Um, So again, (laughs) just having a packet for all the brides. And once you've done a few of these and you have some testimony letters, let me tell you, it's pretty gosh darn fun. So you're helping them also 
What I love about the new moms, they all need a new facial and a new look. So mm -hmm. you always balance opportunity with beauty. And a new mom, just to even treat herself, to say, honey, I'm stepping away. Give yourself an hour. Grab a couple of friends. Come to my place. Let me treat you to a facial and a makeover. Um, or let me bring my spa on wheels to you. Amazing for a mom. And she does miss her girlfriend. Now you go to a bride. And you can certainly start doing um, healthy skincare sessions with everybody in the bridal party to be picture perfect, right? To get the wedding glow on for everybody. Mm -hmm. And then you can do makeup for the wedding if you would like to, or at least teach them how to do, you know, do a makeup party or do a virtual try on with your free makeup app um, at your website. So again, they love their nails done. They love to have their makeup matching their flowers. And um, again, Photography, it saves a ton of money on photography when everybody's kind of got a little <laughs> hat. It was a wedding coordinator for 10 years. Let me tell you, I literally was a partner with uh, uh, all the churches, but the, the photographer, it was great because the brides literally save so much money on touch up when it's good skin and makeup. And you'd be shocked at the horror stories of photographers. They've got a fuchsia girl over here. They got an orange girl here. They got the chocolate brown lipstick over here going on. And they're trying to color touch so that everything looks beautiful. So believe it or not, it matters more than you think. Or the shiny, all that stuff. So you actually get parallel product experience and opportunity with just even these two groups. Right? All right. Spoiler alert. I said photographer. Yeah, I wrote question. it. Got it. Where else? Brides, how do you find it? Um, what about um, connecting with your area churches, the um, secretary, the secretary Beautiful. of the church to see who's going to be getting married soon? Beautiful. Oh. Anyone that's connected to weddings, the musicians, right? Even mm -hmm. the DJs to, oh my gosh, the churches, the pastors, Believe it or not, they're all interrelating, trying to provide the best service to make that day special and as best as they can. And the more you all interconnect, it, it's literally endless. It, it's not a joke. I mean, literally, I think I did a wedding almost every weekend. It, it just is insane. Wow. It's fabulous. So The fabric store. Fabric Tell me more about store. that. Why would that be a place to find a bride? Fabric store? Yeah. Get their dresses made. Ooh, like like dresses Hobby made. Lobby. I love that. That's what I did. I put my card up. I mean, when I, because I made wedding dresses. And so I would put my card up and that would be another way to meet folks. Fabric store. Make mm -hmm. That's cool. Uh, Michael my sister. Or Hobby Lobby. Yeah. My sister, when she got married, uh, she asked me to be her maid of honor. She comes over to my house in Newport, Rhode Island, and she go and she gives me this bag. Here's your dress. It had the the fabric. It had the buttons. It had the um, uh, the pattern. The pattern. Everything was there. And so I made the dress and I didn't know how to, it had long, you know, like really wide um, cuffs with a lot of buttons with the fabric button. Oh my but God. But it was fabric here, but sheer to the, to the um, shoulder. And I had never worked with sheer material before to gather it and everything. So I had to get help with that. But yeah, fabric stores, definitely, Ronnie. <laughs> Super cool. That's out of my realm. That's all I got. <laughs> yeah, that's, that no for me. that's super cool. I wouldn't have thought of that. I like it. Um, I heard Hobby Lobby or like places to get your favors. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, for sure. Agree. Did we say florist? Another good one for sure. If we didn't say it. I already wrote it because I thought I heard it. You did in your own head. Thank, Thank you for you. your outer voice to match your inner voice. Thank so, you. Thank you. There is also, I'm going to branch into this theory. 
Did you guys know that in Facebook, there are groups for all of these things we're talking about? There is military wives. There is new moms. There is moms clubs. There is bride, brides always. Facebook groups galore for every topic. Daycare yep. providers. You guys, there is... I want you to balance going out but being online because <laughs> sitting in front of you is ready-made audiences of hundreds, if not thousands of people in a group, even vendor events. So if you want to do moms, Google baby vendor events near me. You can Google bridal events near me online, in person. There is so much you could do your entire year with babies and brides. And I'm not joking. And I know we've branched into more, but it's the truth. So when you start to make these lists, just like Maxine, Maxine took us to military. We could open a whole new can of worms on military wives, right? And that mm -hmm. community. When you're listing, we went, oh my gosh, we could even go to daycare providers, daycare people, um, Montessori teachers, preschool teachers. I'm telling you, they're not making much money. And God bless their job. Even PSAs at high school. You could even take this subject when you're brainstorming and it leads you to a rabbit trail, right? Of like it's like a squirrel, but wait, then you could go over here. But wait, that leads us to a shoe salesman. Oh, but wait, <laughs> that leads us to musicians who really need some extra income too. So as you start doing this, you can see how maybe another side gig, you start with the solution, you think of who they are, you think of where they are, but if you look at where you're going, it could lead to so much more does that make sense it sure does so do we want to pick one more yeah let's go totally totally sideways let's pick somebody okay. that's not related to any of those types what else do we have a solution for for people it's so hard not to answer you know my brain is like not gonna stop <laughs> okay jack you do one and i'll pop one and we'll see what we pick okay great not a waitress oh yeah. there we go okay Atta, girl. fantastic all right Waitresses, servers, bartenders, right? O-M-G. Okay. So what do we solve for them? Let's go to solutions first. What could this do for them? Hmm. It could give them that extra money to pay a babysitter. Okay. Get extra insurance. What if they didn't have to work every weekend because they had another side gig? Okay. Right. We're not working nights and weekends is the best. Exactly. So think of what they don't like and solutionize it. So mm -hmm. sick of nights and weekends, try a, try a new gig. And turn work less days and only a few hours or whatever, but right, you're kind of compensating that less hours because serving is that for sure. And it's on your feet for your whole shift. How can we spin that? Exactly. So tired of the aches and pains of working on your feet all day. Try, give your phone a try and turn your technology into more from your seat. So um, 
whatever, but it's like that, right? So excellent. Get off your feet and try something from a seat. Yeah, Get a new view. Yeah. yeah. Try a new view. So we've got that. What else would be a solution to bartenders, servers, waitresses? So they work on tips. I was just going to say that. 50% mm -hmm. is guaranteed. If you sell, you will get. And tips are never guaranteed. So how can you turn, how can you spend that, guys? So can't depend on tips. Here's a hot tip or a pro tip. We've got a gig in your phone all day long. Replace the no tips with a gig, right? A fun gig. So, and I always believe this. I believe turn your skill, and I mean this. Servers, waitresses, bartenders, they work hard, right? They have a skill of gab and upselling, or they're not making money. Let's get yep. real. If they, they're good at customer service. They're good at talking to customers. And they are good at upselling. So take the incredible skills you have in a tough industry of hard work, long hours, right? And working for every tip you get. And why not try something working for yourself? Apply your skills to your own bid. So I believe it's like a teacher. And again, you could go to that topic. Teachers teach people. That's all we do right? So teachers always make great Jaffa consultants, right? So do servers because they're in a retail sales business. And the only way they make more is to be better at customer care and upselling. And it's true. So why wouldn't you want to twist that into your own gig and work for yourself, right? Awesome. Be, the boss. be the boss of your own tips, right? So excellent. So how do you find them and what do you do? Well, this one's easy. Come on. It's so easy. Get your butt out there. Yeah. <laughs> go to the Very restaurants. Nice. Go to the fast food places. Yeah. yeah. You could you could do customer appreciation, you know, pop-ups. You could ask the manager to treat all of their staff after a long year of 2023. They survived. They're doing well. And now you just want to do an employee fun pamper session. They love that, by the way. Love, love, love that. Um, they also, um, are a place that again, when you work with any of them online, you can boost for people by their job or their demographics. Yep. You could boost an ad for five bucks, do it three weeks in a row and spend 20 for gosh sakes. And you could boost to servers, waitresses, bartenders, and you can pick what city, what state, a mile radius. You could be advertising. They also have groups on Facebook. You could go into some of these restaurant places, just watch what they're doing. So just take a look, take a listen, take a gander and find a way to get your foot in that door with the restaurant, right? Um, what else is your, popping in your, your mind? Lead Put your lead box out at Restaurant Depot. Mm -hmm. oh. Need a lead box. Oh. They are the best. And you know what? You don't have to buy a box. You can. You can go to Office Depot and buy blank ones and put your logos, <laughs> cut them out and put them in. Or you can literally just do, go to the Dollar Tree and get a gosh darn drawing bag. <laughs> and you get a little holder with your lead slips and a pen and they register to win something. So we appreciate you at TJI Fridays. And this month, we're giving away a $50 spa package. Register here. And because we love every customer, everybody gets treated to a complimentary facial. Not rocket science, right? So they register and they check the boxes. Are they interested in a facial uh, makeover? Are they interested in a catalog? Would they like to know more about making income? Check. Would they like to get together at a... You know, spa session with friends, check. Blah, blah, blah. 
And then every week you check your lead bags, right? Mm -hmm. So anything else, Romy? I don't want to go to more. This is so funny. So Lynette, just because you, you missed in the beginning, we were coming up with 24 different solutions. We literally then went to who, who are we looking for? And then we went to where do we find them? We're probably at near 70 locations. We've only really said the word baby, which led to more things. Then we having a baby. Then we said the brides. And then we just went to servers, waitresses, bartenders, whatever. And how many of you now have your brain on overload? Mm -hmm. How many yeah. of you have ever strategized how to sponsor like this? No, I never thought of that. You're going through the same 10 people in your head all the time. And, oh, good luck. You'll never know. Be your team. <laughs> and they're not going to like you eventually. And you're not even asking them anyway, because now you're petrified. You've asked them already. So, <laughs> right. So how do you remove the fears? How do you, how do you make re a sponsoring fun? It's called the list never ends. You just constantly have, but you have to have a plan and you can't do everything we said today. You can't go to 75 places. That's right. So if your heart is passionate about crafters, crocheters, church people, um, new moms. Do that for a whole quarter. And every week you find another place. You find another way to reach them online and in person. And at the end of 90 days, you'll be like, oh my God, I'm so excited. I really sponsored five new moms. And now you got a group of people that are alike. And how do you think they're going to work together? So good. So better than you ever could imagine. So be authentic to you. If it's retirees, senior citizens, military, go where you know first. But do the why. What solution do I have? The who. Who is that? Because it might go to more people. And then where do I go? Sit down and brainstorm with a best friend. They don't have to be in Jaffa to know how to brainstorm this out with you. Right? Sit down with someone in Jaffa. But if you don't make a strategy of finding new, because you're always asking the same old list, it will never continue to grow. So let me pause. What did we learn from this exercise today? Well, there's from what thousands of saw, places to go. I'll go to Lynette and then we'll go to Angie. So from what I just saw, um, I learned just get out there and and do it. Don't hesitate. Just find like one thing. Like if you're going to go after, you know, the moms who just have kids, just go to them. You know, we all know everybody's having babies or getting ready to just stick with that until, you know, until you are done and then say, okay, well, now let me try this. Don't try to go to the moms and the bartenders and the, you know. Exactly. It can feel too much and then you don't follow up. And here we sit, buckets of leads and the Jaffer name's gone because you didn't finish it. You didn't follow. Mm -hmm. right? right. That ruins all of our brand. So mm -hmm. if you're going to do it, I love what you said. Decide on who. Brainstorm on where. And I can only give this advice and I'm pretty sure Jackie would agree. I believe that when you're, I always had a marketing day. Every Thursday was my marketing day. Um, and so you got to block time to do it every week. So how am I meeting new? My goal was to always grow my team and I'll settle for a client or a hostess, right? But I was out looking for leaders and consultants because I wanted to help people make more, period. That was my passion. So when you do that marketing time, what you guys really do have is the advantage of online and in person. So whenever you're working on it, make sure you're doing both. There's no reason you're not building a back business sitting at your desk as much as you are when you leave your house or you're doing phone calls to local businesses because you help businesses as much as they help you. You're a partnership to them. I want to do something fun for all the new moms coming in your Babies Are Us store. 
can I do a little hand treatment session for them and a little baby massage demonstration for their babies? Your customers are going to be happy. They're going to talk about it. I'm going to give away a drawing on my behalf and your behalf, but I'll buy it. So the business always wins. You always win. A lead box is to help the business win too. Those are parts of customer service and loyalty. So, but go online too. So whenever you take your power hours or time to market every week, if you're going to do babies all quarter, do a little bit of both. So you're building your brand across the nation as much as you are in your backyard. Does that make sense? Yes. Yeah. The, the U.S. is your whole territory, not where you live. It's everywhere. So excellent. Love that. Love that, Lynette. Thank you. Angie, what was your takeaway? Um, there's thousands of places to go, and we don't need to stay just in our comfort zone, that we need to get out of our comfort zone or my comfort zone <laughs> and um, just um, there's thousands of places that, I mean, you we, we can go, we can start. I mean, it doesn't have to be with just our little circle that we're used to. We need to broaden that circle. <laughs> Excellent. You control who, where, what, when, and why you do it. So love that. Thank you. Anyone else? Any feedback on this little exercise we just did? I um, I do like the finding out what the solution is first. And then who can benefit from that? So I, I like that. You know, that's magically delicious because... If you focus on what's in it for me, oh my gosh, I've got to earn, I want to earn the Jaffra B socks this month, right? If you do that, it already feels like, ugh, right? But if you start with, what do I have to help them? It's actually joyful. And even if they say no, it's like, no, but oh my gosh, thank you for thinking of me. Thank you. I appreciate that. Um, great. Do you mind keeping my cards? And if anybody pops to mind, would you just hand them my card? I have a lovely thank you gift. Anytime someone comes from you has, handing these cards out, tell them to mention your name. And um, I will look forward to that, you know, finding some help, helping me find someone who might want what we have. So remember, it's okay to get a no if you just say, do you mind helping me find someone who might need this? Mm -hmm. Because you're solution driven versus just kind of, hi, do you want to make some money? Slam dunk. It's like, <laughs> well, well, mm -hmm. none of your business, by the way, Lady Jane. Um, like, oh, can I see your, you know, 401k? How you doing? So it's uh, more I'm about, dying. <laughs> right? but it, it is, it's more about how many hours a week are you bartending, sweet pea? Do you like it? How long have you done it? Right? So are you finding this is the best place for your tips? Ask some questions about that and then go, have you ever thought of? Right? So love it. Excellent, Connie. Okay. Anybody else? Any other thoughts, comments about today's exercise? I have a question. Yeah. Does any of this feel like something you can do because I know sometimes we like to talk a big game right and we like to be like I can do all of this this is amazing and then when it comes down to it it's not something that you feel like you can do do you feel like with these tools you can actually follow through and if so when are you going to do it I feel like I can, and you were talking about me, I feel like, like, because I'm the one. I'm not I, talking about you. I love you. I No, no, no. I know. I'm like, but like, man, that's like, no, that's like talking, talking to me, like, because it was like, is, you know, as long as I've been in Jaffra, I know that I should be way further than what I am right now. Well, don't shit on yourself, but <laughs> it's so important to know yourself, right? And to be honest with yourself, because Angie was like, no, she's talking about me. And honestly, <laughs> y'all, I could also be talking about me. When I was working my business, I had all these grand ideas, but sometimes I just couldn't follow through. 
And really the breakthrough comes when you're able to say, yes, I will follow through. This is the time that I will do it. And when I do, I will report back and tell you how it went. Mm -hmm. Um, So if you guys don't have accountability buddies, make one immediately. So you can tell someone how it went. And so Um, imagine like you're your marketing department, right? mm -hmm. So like, it's fun to help people with a solution. Like, oh my gosh, when that new mom says, I don't have to put my kid in daycare. Oh my God, it was a thousand dollars a month. Like that makes me cry because I was that. And I'm like, oh my gosh, like that just, I have goosebumps thinking of that new mom who does get to stay home. And so every week, if you, like for me, it was my Thursdays. I worked two hours a week on marketing and it was my business. I have to market me. Jaffra's not doing it. And I was so excited, whoever my target market was at the time, I was like so excited to help them. And I'd be like, oh, thank God, it's like marketing time. And I'd spend like, okay, what am I going to do today? And each week, my list got easier. I had my list ready for what I could do next week because I set my timer. And when I was done, I was done. I had to get back to my other IPAs. So again, it's like if you structure and you realize Every business in town is marketing to customers. You have to, too. Yep. They don't come to you because you got Jaffra on, right? They don't know that's your face. So, again, it's like, what am I doing? And how do I reach the people I can't wait to help? That's that joy spot. Instead of, oh, I have to. I should. I could. I won't. I can't. Oh, I failed again. No. No. Find the joy in it. That's why we want you to find the group of people that you enjoy and try it for a quarter. <clears throat> so how many of you believe you could give this a 90-day trial and get your strategy even moving now? You have five bonus days of this year. But how many of you know you could do something weekly and pick a, a really fun topic close to your heart for the first quarter? Mm-hmm. Okay. Connie, what's your topic? Who's your group? Uh, well, it's been seniors, <laughs> you know, only because I'm a senior. I love but, it. <laughs> um, but I'm thinking uh, I, I really want to get into the teachers. Excellent. Yeah. Excellent. So for you, that. where your heart is, I'll tell you, the retirees are the number one driving a gig next year. So don't leave the seniors behind. So all right. they're all coming out of retirement because of the <clears> economics. <throat> So it's a hot market. Um, So again, teachers, retirees, and if you want to do both, that's up to you, but pick your time. So it's, you know, doable Mm -hmm. and achievable, but Mm -hmm. I love that. Okay. Angie, what's your target market? What's rolling in your mind? Um, The new moms. Okay. Excellent. Mm -hmm. Okay. Lynette, what's yours? Grandmas, even though I'm not one yet. But, and I'm looking forward to being one. <laughs> but I feel like the grandmas. There's a because, ton like, of Facebook the, groups for cool grandmas. Yes. And I think for the grandmas for themselves, and then the ones like we have the baby stuff who they're like really might want to get for, you know, the kids or that the baby. cologne for the little ones or every, you know, all the little baby stuff and kid per- cologne and perfumes that we have for the grandmas. Excellent. Don't forget to Google where do cool grandmas go in my neighborhood. Go to next door. Get into that app. Like there's there's a ton going on on all these targets. I love it. Ronnie, what's your target group? What's rolling in your mind that would bring your heart happiness? Okay. Let me flip to Maxine. I am going to work with the um, <clears throat> stay home moms. Stay you home know, moms. A lot of the stay home moms because the spouse is at work and the um, moms are at home with the kids and, you know, the younger kids. So I think I'm going to target that group because that will give them extra income. That's and right. And they're at home. And they can do their marketing or networking while the 
kids are at school. They need Those are my people. They need girl. a community. They need a little bit of me things. Yeah, pampering. Love that. Yeah, yes. I love that. Excellent, Kendall. Did you have some this some group that you've thought about? Yeah, when you said moms, and it's because we have a lot mothers who are homeschooling. Oh, yes. that's a really good group. Love Excellent. those homeschool moms. Mm -hmm. Yes. Excellent. I, know Excellent. I was a homeschool mom. Mm -hmm. so. <laughs> yeah. Is that how you met Michelle? No, actually, I met Michelle through Kelly. Oh, that's that's right. That's oh, right. Yeah, because yeah, mm -hmm. Michelle's a homeschooler, too. So mm -hmm. excellent. So again, we hope today led you to thinking differently and operating from your heart, not your okay. head. Right. No gremlins. This is just serving people that we have a passion about with a solution. So we hope that helped. I'm going to wrap it up with uh, just a couple more things. Let me just get back. We will put these decks in your WhatsApp group, of course, because this is what you can keep in front of you. And as Jackie said, so what can I do? When will I do it? You got a black time, like I said. Yeah. And then how are you going to do it? And just do it for goodness sakes and have somebody to hold you accountable. So Jackie and I wanted to just wrap up. We already have our training calendar um, all mm -hmm. etched out in Facebook. We also put it in your WhatsApp group. It's in guide number four under calendars um, in Facebook group. And it's also, of course, in your WhatsApp. So make sure you download that and keep yourself with your calendar when the doors open next uh, Tuesday on day our first day back to Jeffra then you will open that door, of course, with our kickoff meeting. So make sure you block and plan your calendar um, from that early. We don't need to go through all of this, but we're gonna do a simple commercial, okay? So our marketing Mondays will continue at 9 a.m. That's where you learn all things from social to sales to servicing customers, sponsoring, prospecting tabletop. So we will have new themes each week. We have a guest speaker each week in the hot seat. So if ever you can come, be there live. You got live Q&A with our trainer of the week. Next, we will continue. Once you become a leader, you will be invited to our two leader workshops a month where we help you make plans and meetings and systems how to really work with your team. So we look forward to having you there. And uh, we'll also have a meet and greet for you once you qualify. Next, we've got the second Tuesday of the month will continue. This has been a regional celebration for all consultants. Guests are welcome as well. So always save your calendar for that. And that, what we're going to do different, we do have Mayim live with us. She is in our marketing department. She's going to talk to us about all new products, how to use them, how to sell, what the market trends are. So you get to be so um, brilliant at what's hot, what's new that might fit into your new market that you're, you're working in that you just talked about. So we're excited for that. Be there live because it's a live Q&A with her on the new products that we have each month. This we're really excited about for you. And that is our compensation compass meeting. And this is going to be something we do once a month. It will be the Tuesday after the celebration. So the third Tuesday of each month. And what we're going to do at 3.30 Pacific, 6.30 for you all on the East is we're going to have a monthly take a look. This is where you can bring potential sponsors. Jackie and I will do an official take a look um, very quick, and we'll do live Q&A for everybody that you want to have take a look at the business. We'll be doing that for you. And then following, they can stay. And of course, you're always welcome. And this is for any of your consultants as well in your team. We're going to go from take a look at the business and they join to take a look at our compensation plan. And we're gonna do a fast tootle through the whole compensation plan of Jaffra. You might learn something new that you didn't know was on the table, as well as your consultants can hear that there's so much more when you grow a team versus just grow your clients. And then we'll do live Q and A. So again, this is gonna be your monthly, you've got the second Tuesday, third Tuesday evening, um, at four o'clock Pacific that are really going to be, you know, powerhoused for you. Um, and then we've got our Monday morning. We also, Jackie and I will be doing tours each month with a theme workshop. 
And so in case you or anyone you know um, who is someone you could sponsor or they could sponsor and then attend our meetings, we'll be traveling from um, Hartford, Connecticut to Santa Monica, California, to Portland, Oregon, to Seattle, Washington. <laughs> these are already posted as well. Um, so you can see these all over in our Facebook group and we've already put it in your WhatsApp group and you'll have the slide deck. So save the dates, invite potential consultants as well. And when we are in some of the cities, leaders and future leaders will have a chill and chat time where we really just brainstorm and network how to keep growing our teams like we did today, okay? So um, I think that hit all of it. And our point to all of that is just an FYI, we will not be continuing this group next year, okay? So we have added a monthly meeting that we just talked about. We have so many training places for you to go. Once you get to leadership, then you will have coaching, okay? So in the meantime, please work with your manager, work with your buddies and besties, and get your goal to get to the leader team. So we want to work with all of you and we want to work you. with you at building your teams like crazy. So to manager with all of you. To manager, you all go. So if you wake up January 1st as a new manager or renewed manager, you will move right into the, the leadership coaching group that we now call the Thrive Tribe. And that is from managers to ambassadors. We've got a whole new coaching structure for next year. But we also want to say thank you so much. We tried this this past year. We wanted to give it a trial. We wanted to it's learn about fun. it. It was so much fun. We learned probably more from you than you learned from us. But we You're thank back. you for the journey. And we are most excited to welcome you at our next meet and greet as a leader when you're ready. So you all have all the tools, right? Like you have you all do. the tools to get there. That's so great. we want to see each and every one of your eyeballs and your faces in our leader meetings because you deserve to be there. That's correct. All right. Okay. So anything else before we go? Questions, comments, anything that you need before we take off and say happy new year. All right. Thank We're you. Gonna keep, thank you. We're going to keep the WhatsApp open oh, until yeah. January 2nd. When we come back, we'll be flipping out all of our When WhatsApp. we get there. <laughs> when we get there, for like whenever we get there. <laughs> but we'll be flipping that out. So grab all the documents that you want to download or keep from that group. And we'll give you the forewarning that we're ready to take away. All right. Okay. So, all right. Thank you so very much. <laughs> See you, you soon. Happy thank New you. Year. Bye, everyone. Happy New Year. Happy New Year.